Warning, this video is not for kids. Video contains materials inappropriate for viewers under the age of 13. If you are a kid, look out now. This channel does not sponsor any kids content. All the contents are for viewers aged above 13. Children are not the primary audience for this channel or this video. Once again, this video is not for kids contains materials inappropriate for viewers under 13 under the age of 13 so if you are somebody below 13 you should not watch this nor you should observe the contents of this channel I got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. Mm, you guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea.
don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? It said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. So fast, Roach. Oh, bloody hell! Boy, the... Slow now. Whoa. Witcher! Witcher! Jerkins. Interesting. Fresh trout around here. Cheap. What? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> Get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bollock. <laughs> oh, got so fucked up once. Blood came out of my ears. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of mine. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear. Once the witch hunters were onto her, Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from the Zair. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me.
like a raw wound. It's an area to go through the Zima. You've got One arrived day. there just before winter. Black ones can do no harm, not at first. You're mistaking me for someone else. Oh, yeah. Now step up some crowds. Ah. <laughs> and who might you be? Temple Guard undercover? Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies. Fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush my teeth. Go home, merchant, and try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. High time.
Gerald's. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. Just a shame you didn't dress up like I asked. Really expected me to show up in a lacework collar, ruffles on my trousers? You'd even look great wearing a bustle. Dad, I want to know what that is. For now, you'll just have to survive on bread and witcher. Well then, shall we go? Greeting. What was in a uh, one? Must be. Of course. Cool. I play. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I'll leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. Mm. 
I haven't been outside the city in ages. No, you don't know. After all, he's not the only one. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. This miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Theifenfell. I'll tell you the story later. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff? Just moments ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend. Sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is a beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. <laughs> K. Suex. Geralt? Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's another night for that poor. I'm in no mood. No The word is, it's more like a Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private.
thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. He seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners in the city walls. Beg your pardon? Looking for me, sir. Yes, darling. Albert Vagelbud? For you, my sweet. I can be Adolf Valentino. You can see Nilfgaard's banners in the city walls. Of mine. I'm in no mood. I'm in no mood. I bid you a cool farewell. Be on your way. Don't be proud. I'm in no mood. 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 i the truth is, we're already dependent Go on the Black Ones, economically. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Oh, by the gods! Oh. Rivia. And Triss, I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagelbud. I shall. Believe you me. Feeling we've nothing extraordinary all. about There's it. There's a laundry in Farfords. Did you know? They'll wash your clothing. And then a colossal scream. Oh! Yes. Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black panther. <laughs> oh my! Count.
Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Stop. I wish to go chat with someone. Then go. Alone. Oh, that's that's so dark. Isn't it Good just the first Good day. Good day. Oh, oh, greetings. Oh, Do we know each other? day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the Ah, city. another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Lep. The man can afford to lose. Not in the mood. <laughs> ah. The truth is, we're already the people of the Black Bottles. So, how goes it? Time to invest in rumors. No worries yet. Then I shall return later. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. An amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Ah. Oh. Maritz, what do you want to know? Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader. Simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming?
Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards your count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. <sighs> Doubt it. Begin to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry.
everything said? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we going to get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Merigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful.
That's it, Roach. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witch it would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgaard von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted.
Guardsmen outside Triss's house. Oh, Not good. I want to cut off his first finger. But I paid in advance the entire month. You did, but you paid the old price. The risks of. I'm out of coin. But you got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here! Hands off or I'll cut them off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. I was worried about you. City's crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city, street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Bertold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Bertold and Denise. Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm hmm. Help too and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Berthold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Lead the way. Ah! 
where's this head out? Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. Them, just as I said. Now in sorcery and poor. She's into the witchcraft too. Good work. Take him. No, I beg you. We've done nothing wrong. Right. Hear that several tough marigold. Land on two. You alright? Can you walk? It, yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. But old. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. We're going now. Go going. Thanks. We need to join the others as soon as possible. Checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed down the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. Hey, uh. Guardsmen are hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Damn it! Ah! They're here already. 
Spread out! Pathetic. Too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch, grabbed the others. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. This way, Geralt. Triss? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No. Everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes you beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. Well, I was born ugly. You think to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set up. They know me. Bleeding hard. Start bleeding now. They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir, especially among King Tancred's entourage. Trace is about to speak. We'll talk later. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. So we could find a captain we can trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake, begging for mercy. If the need arises, I'll defend you. You can also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, Radovid's right-hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You... This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. I'm on my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I'll drop magic for good. If I can only bloody get out alive. You can't, you won't. Good luck. You've got Radovid and the church against you. Banish us. Can I help you in any way? Thanks for helping. 
no need to thank me, really. No, there is. You don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. Chris, found an exit. Remember? You've got nothing to fear. Depends how many there are.
A vampire. Watch out for its venom. source of income. Come on, let's go.
Lovely. No wonder there were so many rats. Who's tossing all these corpses down here? We're right under the main square, next to Carlo the Cleaver Varese's headquarters. Can't be a coincidence. His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find the way to the port first. Finally. You bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Wood's rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons. Don't meddle in other people's lives. Sorry, I must. It's my profession. So, will you ask her to stay? Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Board the ship! We want them alive! No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Stay with me. Geralt, not this again. Especially not here. Not now. Miss Marigold, we got a sale. Please. We had our chance. But let it go. I... I love you. Miss Mary Gold, we're casting off. Well, mate, at least you tried. A sorceress turned me down once. Want to hear the story? Go for it. What's the harm? As you know, my heart fluttered for Philip Eilhart back when we both served Redania. One day, I doused myself in fragrances like a whore in a heat wave, put on a pinstripe doublet, they make you look slimmer, you know. And I went to her, told her, Philippa, with so much in common, and so on. You know what she said? 
pinstripes hadn't slimmed you down enough? No. She said... Geralt, turn around. Not in the mood for jokes. No, I'm serious. Turn around. Triss? I thought... So did I. But I changed my mind. Thank you. I'm grateful. Dijkstra, no offense, but... Leaving, already gone. Let's go somewhere. I know a spot where we can watch the ships. Lead the way. You're safe now, right? Yes, you can stop worrying, really. Oh, you're right. Just hard to believe it's over and done with. I've dreamt of this moment for months. Promise me one thing. You'll stop risking your life for others. No. No? Triss, not a mage left in Novigrad. But you're here. I can defend myself. Well, from Kikimors, Griffins, Bruxay, but not from the hunt. You and Siri will need my help, and I'll be at your side. This how you imagine things? No. I imagined I'd be on the ship with the rest of them, and you'd be on shore. Waving a handkerchief, maybe. I hope you don't regret it, that things have gone differently. Well, they say Kavir's lovely this time of year, but I prefer you. <laughs> Not surprised. I'm pretty lovely this time of year, too. I won't disagree. We might still go there one day, when it's all over. I don't know. Kavir seems so far away. End of the world, really. Hmm. Maybe you're right. So how do you envision our future? I'll be Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose. You'll be High Priestess of Melitale. We'll live happily ever after, a horde of kids around us. Oh no, won't get out of it that easy. I asked you a serious question. Where do you see us in, let's say, five years? This is how I see it. We're living in a small town, where everybody knows everybody else. You've got your practice, brewing potions, that sort of thing. And what are you doing? Running around swamps, killing drowners? No. I'm sitting on the porch in a rocking chair, smoking my pipe, listening to the clink of your vials as you work inside. That simple? Mm-hmm. That simple. I miss this Geralt, you know? Meaning? Well, the Geralt who's not afraid to open up to me, tell me what he really feels, what he wants. What I want? <laughs> One more thing. Shh. I know. Signaling us. It's a message. H L A K. 
B. Ah. Hul... Lakba. It makes no sense. It's Ko. What did you expect? Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? I'm afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. We'll get our happy ending one day. Yes. Somewhere over a hill and dale. It's a cruel world we live in. It's hard to make plans. Even harder to invest any faith in them. Though you might want to badly. You were in an entirely different mood a moment ago. Hush. The spark expired. Don't worry about me, Geralt. And please, be careful. I've got to find Ciri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Caremorn. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I miss you too. Men's fragrance, acrid sweat, and chestnut balm for aching joints. Dijkstra. Ah, those witches' senses. Can't hide a damn thing from you, lot. Same seems to be true for you. Will you ever leave me alone? Someday, sure. Once I no longer need you. <sighs> Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Kareg, Gullet? You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one, Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father. Was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania. Made it the North's most powerful realm. 
any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora in the Garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. Darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way. Upstairs. My friend's chambermaid has gone missing. The temple guard has refused to search for her. Can you believe it? Really? Must you really reach ah. your girl? Yeah. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder, too. Comparing yourself to Falka? Far as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. 
Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar. Most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No one. No, it's gonna be better with you. Just cautious. A trait you Intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. We can go at it here, or at my place. You two. If she wiggles any more, her tits will pop out of her grit. Does she know so? Meow. Meow. What's it gonna be? Oh, you were born! Master Hunter, sir. We're not in no one's way. My husband is supervisor by trade. Oh no. Ooh. Ah! I hope you get 
go bald. Eh. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no maid. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Sorry. Don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we... Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Be gone with Another you! Another drifter in from Tamaria. Where are you going? Spells. O on my honor. An elf sauna worth less than a man. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Fuck. Looking for Gregor. You found him. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a peller from a village nearby. Gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offences? Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned car to ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. Alright. 
Good luck. Thanks. See ya.